Yo, yeah, what is up, NPL fans? Shadia, coach of Bayern Munich, and welcome to week two of NPL season seven. This week we're up against none other than Gypsy King and his Sydney Shop Heroes, the two times defending champion of the NPL. Uh, which means this is gonna be everything but an easy battle. Um, but I think, uh, you know, unlike last season where I literally didn't see any way of winning. Uh, the matchup because I had a terrible team inherited by Mr. Pokey MMD. Um, well, it's still don't have a good matchup. Uh, at least I have some win cons because last season I had to resort to Life Pop Trick Room P2 as my win con because it was the best thing I could see I could actually win against this team. Um, that being said, uh, I still think that the matchup is in Gypsy's favor, uh, which, you know, playing against someone of his caliber already puts me on a massive back foot, but, you know, we'll, we'll try, we'll see what we can do. Um, and that's pretty much all there is. We're own two now, in case you didn't. Uh, own one now, sorry. <laughs> in case you didn't see week one, I highly encourage you to check it out. It was a great battle against Merc. Um, and yeah, check out Dipsy, of course. As, as I just said, he's the two times fan champion, and that should tell you enough about him. Um, as well as all the other, all the other links to the MPL and description below. Um, and the you can buy a Bayern Munich shirt too somewhere in there. So why not, right? Okay, so <laughs> let's get in team build up. Maybe I'll put in a thing where you can skip it. I'll probably forget again because it's what I do. But let's get in team build up. Bring it on the side. You should see my team as well as his draft. Uh, and as you can see, his draft consists of Landros T with Z moves, Celestina, Mega Diancy, Hydreigon, Decidueye, Suicune, Gothitelle, Quillfish, Hariyama, Paloswine, and Autonaut. So he has some great value down his lower tier picks. And then he has these absolute monsters of Lando T, Celestina, Mega Diancy, Hydreigon, which is just. Uh, why? And then he has Goth too, which is just such an annoying pile of garbage. And I really didn't want to prep for this team. I build more teams than I usually do. Uh, build like my usual like quick build, uh, and then kind of go from there. Change that a little bit, and then it just didn't work in Marks. And I was like, "Fuck it, I'm frustrated. Let's build a meme team," uh, which was you know hard based on uh, or focus on baton passing. Um, that. Six out of my first mark, and then was eh, shaky as you expect a full-on meme team to be. Uh, and ultimately, I said, why not just mix them together, see how it works, uh, and just kind of go from there. So, um, and this is this is essentially the win con. This is the big thing on this team. Uh, Cordelia Delade is with left of us. Levitated as the ability, store power, substitute, call mind, roost, max HP, max speed, timid, uh, four in defense. Yes, this is hard walled by Hydreigon. However, for one, I don't think Hydreigon is super duper likely to come. Two, I do have a way later on of baiting it in and is eventually uh, making it, you know, fought off on Meladias. Uh, you will see what that is. Um, yeah, Hydreigon, I don't think is the most likely one. I think he has other things that he can bring that are a little bit better against my team. However, uh, it's still possible. Like, it doesn't have an awful matchup. It has a decent matchup. It can break pretty much everything on my team. It's just that it's a little too slow and Scarf is not quite strong enough, I feel. With the likes of Kang. Plus, if he drops a Draco, Volcarona just comes in and, you know, uh, on a Scarf set, is. If he just uh, drops a Scarf Draco, and then Volcarona just comes in and has a field day. So, um, yeah, that's kind of why I'm with that. Um, Celestina, I don't deal well with at all. If he brings an offensive set, I pretty much just lose. Like, my entire draft just loses to it. <laughs> There's not much I can do about that, honestly. Um, which is why I had to resort to, you know, memes, essentially. Um, Land OT, fucking stupid Pokemon, I'm 100% expecting a gravity set, potentially Smackdown, but Smackdown just seems a lot more unreliable, um, because I can just pivot around that, so. And Mega Lancy also is just a massive threat to my team, um, that can very, very easily clean up that game depending on how things go. Um, DC Drake and Baton Pest stuff, and that would just make me sad. Uh, Suicune, Quillfish, Yama, Palos, I don't know, all, all fat and really annoying, and Gothic Tail Trap shit, I don't like it, so. I hate everything on this team. I don't want to play it, but <laughs> let's 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 see how it goes. So, Ladias, um, yeah, the thing, Ladias has a fantastic matchup against his team, uh, and I would probably just bring an offensive life orb set if it wasn't for Goth being able to trap me after I drop Draco. Um, so you know that's a problem. Um, or maybe just an offensive call mines, something like that. But ultimately, I decided this is the best set because I have Baton Pass, and you will see how that works. So if I Baton Pass into this Ladias. I can then call mine up and hopefully uh, just win. I can also stop on things because, as you will see in a second, I will be Tom passing bulk ups into the thing, which is very crucial. 
So if I baton pass one, maybe two, maybe even three ball cups into this thing, um, I can sub on pretty much anything on this team. I can call mine up and hopefully just win the game from there. Um, I don't know how Gypsy always manages to draft teams where I don't have like easy win cons, but apparently this is what I have to do now every time I play him. <laughs> Not that I mind, you know, better than boring games and boring teams. So, um, yeah, I have to get rid of Hydreigon or Toxic it. Uh, and if, as soon as it happens, the thing can actually just win, and this is what sticks out in one of my marks. So, and to enable that, I have this full to set. Marcus coming again with the leftovers Water Veil as he will the Waterfall bulk up Taunt at the Taunt Pass. Initially, I had agility of a Waterfall in the meme build, but I realized it's fucking stupid, and it wasn't necessary on this team anyway. So, um, yeah, this thing is just there to pass into Ladias, potentially into Kang, maybe even Heliodas, depending on how things go and what he brings and stuff. Um, but uh, the reason I have Taunt is because I can Taunt Potential Haze, uh, Quillfage, I can, um, or Raw Suicune, I can Taunt um, a has a second Quillfage as well, I can Taunt Gihar, uh, the Pilot Swan, prevent from getting up rocks, um, all those things, I can even Taunt the Lander T if I really feel like he decides to set up on left Floatzel, but that is very low percent chance, um, because I might just have an ice move and kill him, so that's not much point. Uh, I can even taunt the Goth as hell if I feel like that's the necessary play at the time. Um, you know, if he if one friend will, like call mining up on me, though, I don't think he would do that. Um, but you know, the possibility is there. Basically, this is just so I don't get roared out or hazed, and I can just pass into Ladias freely. Um, bulk up means I get all the bulk in the world, and eventually I'll be able to take hits from anything in this team just fine enough. Um, his immediate switch into Floatzel should be Quillfish or Suicune depending on which one he brings. I'm definitely expecting Quillfish because it has a really nice matchup against me uh, and has its kind of fucked my ass um, if I don't bring removal. So yeah, so I can just taunt that and just bulk up into Infinity and just pass into Ladias and then hopefully win. That's the plan because I, don't, I do think Quillfish will be a switch in uh, and Quillfish is fodder for Ladias. So that just works out perfectly. Um, that's pretty straightforward actually. Floats just pass into Ladias and that's that's it. <laughs> and then we have, of course, Emran the Mega Kang, uh, with stuff and the things. Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Wish, Power Up Punch, uh, so nice, nice triple punch Kang, uh, with a fancy V spread that outspeeds Adamant Lando T, uh, takes an, I think, Adamant Z Earthquake from Lando T with that defense investment, um, and then rest in Spidef just because I want some special bulk on the thing to deal with Mega Diancy somewhat, deal with Hydreigon to some extent, and even special Celesteela. So, uh, this is a mixture of a win con, obviously, as well as uh, my defensive check to a lot of the things because his team has so much offense that my team doesn't deal with, doesn't deal well with at all. Um, Kang would be super helpful. Uh, I just find Thunder Bunch has really, really nice coverage against his team, actually. Um, like Lano T weak to ice, Celestia weak to electric, Hydreigon Decidueye weak to ice, Suicune weak to electric, uh, Quillfish weak to electric, um, and that's it. So <laughs> the majority of the team get hit, gets hit pretty hard with uh, with these moves, and that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. Also, I want these moves. I don't want to return because without Power Punch, I'm weak. Without Wish, I die, <laughs> and without those two uh, strong or punchy moves, uh, the Bolt Beam pun uh, Punch combo. I don't touch Celestia or I don't do enough to land OT, so I kinda don't want that, and that's what his set came to be. Uh, shout out to David Magic for the spread because it's pretty much exactly his spread. Uh, and he just sent it to me and I just use it because it makes sense. Uh, yeah, next up we have Evergreen the Shaman with the leftovers, Natural Cure, Giga Drain Synthesis, Leech Seed, and HP Ice. HP Ice was a last minute change, and initially a toxic, and then I changed it because the team that I ended up with, uh, it's, uh, unlike the team that I had initially, Struggled a lot more with Lando T, and I figured if I can get an HP Ice off uh, on it, that would be really neat. Uh, in hindsight, probably should have, uh, should have kept Toxic, but you will see how that works. Um, but yeah, this is just a bulky shaman. I forgot what DVs are for, but they make sense, and I swear they do. Uh, I just don't remember. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't get tweaked killed by close combat from Hariyama, that's one thing I remember. Uh, and then Spit F for things that I forgot basically. Uh, yeah, this thing is just there to be gross. I really should have kept Toxic, honestly, which makes which will make this a lot better. But Shaman just deals with a lot of his stuff fairly reliably, um, and can just, you know, Leech Seed and Synthesis and then Giga Drain, uh, and just get all the recovery in the world, and eventually just beat things. This can actually potentially even deal with Celestia, depending on what his set is, which is really nice. Um, 
emphasis on maybe and potentially and depending on what the set is. Um, I could easily just get blown back by Sila, and this is by no means a counter, but it definitely helps with it a little bit. Especially if I get a lead seat off on it, that means Ladias can potentially call my up on it a little bit more easily, uh, Kang can beat it a little bit more easily, that kind of thing. Leech is just nice for team support overall. So, uh, next up we do have Titania discovering me with the Shad Shell, Sturdy as the ability, Iron Hat, Whirlwind, Icy Wind, and Roost. Uh, split F set with a little bit of defense, I think this Split F is so I don't get treated killed by Mega Nancy, if I remember that correctly. Um, I should really record my team builders like earlier. <laughs> but yeah, um, Shad Shell is because Goth has a cock and I don't want to get fucking trapped by it, and if it's Taunt set, Whirlwind won't help me, and even if. I will win, he just clicks Thunderbolt and I take a lot of damage and I don't want that. So, uh, Iron Head, of course, to hit Mega Nancy hard and just kill it. Easy Wind is there to slow down Land OT if it's a Rock Polish set. Uh, and also, you know, it does, I'm pretty sure it does the most damage. <laughs> which is a bit sad. But mainly uh, there to slow down Land OT. Uh, potentially Papa Yachi if he decides to be that set. Um, and, yeah, pretty, pretty much that. Uh, I opted to not have rocks on this because this team isn't super weak to rocks and I don't think I'll have an opportunity to even get them up. Um, a lot of decisions went into this team building and they all made me sad so you know I couldn't bring Pengo or I couldn't bring Volcarona and other things I want to bring it just didn't work out and you know <laughs> this set uh, helps with the likes of being an anti land OT. that's pretty much all it's there for. Uh, we'll went of course to get rid of the land OT. Uh, if it's set up, if it thinks it can like easily set up on me instead of I see winning, I can just well win it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Wolwind also helps with uh, the Sejuai Battalion passing, it helps with Suicune uh, being a call mining cunt. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And last but not least, we have a bit of a spicy set here. <laughs> so there are the to the left of us, Bryce of course. Parabolic Charge, Surf, Toxic, and Substitute. The Sub Toxic Parabolic Charge Heliosk. Parabolic charge that, that moves you saw in the X and Y trailers early and you thought, man, this is cool, but then you realize it's fucking useless because only Heliodisc gets it. But it causes 50% of damage ideal and that's pretty nice. So subtoxic Heliodisc, why in the world? Because his toxic immunities do not like this. Uh, Celestia, uh, Quillfish, and Megalancy essentially. Those are the th three, th three things that are not affected by toxic um, and I can just hit them hard. Uh, plus, this thing is a nice bait for the uh, for the Dragon, which um, otherwise can just it, it doesn't take much damage from me, but I can toxic it, and then Ladias can beat it one v one very easily unless he's like banned it. Uh, and even then, if I have bulk ups passed into it, then it's also fine. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a stupid set, but it does actually work quite well, I think. Uh, and I had this idea from the start, and I kind of abandoned it very quickly, and then I went back to it eventually, and it works out perfectly with the Ladias. So. Um, yeah, bit of a bit of a weird build, uh, but we'll see what we can do and see if, if Cordelia can pull this out for us. And yeah, I'm gonna pause and then we will get right into the game. Okay, so here with the game, as you can see, Lan uh, <laughs> Dipsy decides to bring Lando T, Mega Nancy, Quillfish, Hydreigon, Decidueye, and Celesteela. Um, pretty much what I expected. Uh, Hydreigon and Decidueye were interchangeable potentially, um, but I, yeah, I definitely expected a Yama over one of them. Just as a additional check or a decent check to Volcrona, um, as I think it can even take a plus one Z at the Psychic, shout out Psychic. Um, but yeah, regardless, this is pretty much what I expected. And just a heads up, we had to restart the game because you forgot to make a no big deal, but um, yeah, so there are going to be like two turns in the middle, a little weird, and I'm going to be a little amount of low, I think I say a little, I'm going to be at lower health uh, with one Mon than I was initially, but you know. No big deal. I'm going to use my float still because I'm expecting the cool fish lead or potentially an OT, and either way, this works out perfectly for me. So, he leads over land OT. Um, couple things. First up, I don't think Scarf makes sense against my team. Uh, if he does bring Scarf, I'd like I'd like to hear his reason why. Um, second, I don't think he's staying in. Um, and I think he just ha is going to go hard quillfish. Third, if he is actually Scarf, I do think U turn is going to be his play. Um, it could be like a Sash Ice Beam variant, uh, you know, because I let with it, it could be just straight up anti lead with uh, Focus Sash. Uh, he could, uh, I could just go with my Skarm and Orban Shaman, both free switches at this point, uh, even Ladias, uh, all free switches into an Earthquake. Granted, the only one I would actually go into would be Skarmory. Uh, so I don't think he's gonna Earthquake to run, so I'm just gonna kick the Taunt here, expecting Kuvish to come in either through a hard switch or potentially be, in my opinion, unlikely Scarf U turn. So, 
Turns out he's actually scarfing. He's going straight for your XP. He gets a way higher roll than he got in the first game. Unfortunately, he's going to pop for a taunt for no reason, essentially. Uh, and my folks is now useless. So the bulk of passing is already fucked because of the scarf that I just didn't expect. So I'm going to make you safe play into my scarf. Um, you know, no big deal there. He's going to BP out. Uh, and I'm going to click Whirlwind uh, on the Quillfish. And I think this is where there are a couple weird turns. I think I'm going to roost twice here. I think I roosted once in the actual game against Hydreigon to uh, scout for damage. Um, but, you know, didn't happen. And uh, I'm going to roost twice here just to get everything back to order. So, uh, this comes in. I'm going to go to my Mega Kang Heart because I can take any hit and I can threaten out with the Ice Punch. Uh, he's going to Tompass out. That's fine. Uh, and goes into Squillfish and, you know, I'm going to have to switch out. But... This is the opportunity for me to get in my healers because that set is actually looking really nice against him right now. So, because there's no Yama or anything of so that could be really annoying for the set. So, I'm gonna sub for free on the Quilfish to see if his T spikes. Those are gonna be annoying, but that's fine. So, Citra comes in. Uh, there's a chance he might only have a Ghost Step. So, I'm just gonna click Toxic. Turns out he switches out, so you, I think he might actually only be Spirit Chat. So, he goes for Dragon. I get a Toxic off, and at this point, Ladi's already looking really, really nice. Um, Granted, I won't be able to bulk up pass into it because of the, the turn 1, but uh, I can still use Floatless Fodder, which is nice. And Ladi can still do this because if I can call my up and then get a sub up, um, I will get a couple kills or potentially just win, depending on how things go. So, uh, get off the Toxic on your Dragon. I'm just going to Parabolic Charge, get that health back, get some chip damage off. I'm pretty sure it's the first time. Parabolic Charge has been used in draft format, because why would you ever use that? He doesn't have Rock Slide for the Volcarona. Uh, turns out he was just like a Spadef uh, Tangaberry variant to deal with Volcarona. So, man was worried about it. So, I'm going to sub up again because I don't think he's going to stay in. Even if he does, you know, no big deal. He's going to get one onto Toxic. He goes into the anti time he Mega Evolves, and I'm going to Surf uh, as he goes for the Power Gem. And from the Surf damage that I uh, see here, he's HP invested. Quite a bit, I think. So, uh, he's not going to have max special attack, so he cannot kill me because I don't think he's going to have Earth because he didn't click it here. I don't think it makes much sense against my team. The only thing he would do that for is if he's a gravity set for my Skarmory. So, um, I'm just going to stay in and knock out this Mega Dance because it is a giant threat. <clears throat> he goes for the Moonblast, does 69% Giggity, and I'm going to be able to knock out the Mega Dance with the Surf. So, he just picks up a kill. That's nice. Um, I think it's now three kills in two games, which is pretty neat. So, uh, he goes into Above the Clouds, the Lanity. I'm just going to go into my Floats and fodder it off. Uh, unfortunately, with T-Spikes up, it's not going to be able to do anything this game, uh, and he's going to U-turn. Now I got full but that's fine. Uh, I'll start to my sprite just constantly changing, it's pretty pretty great. <laughs> um, so yeah, he goes into Sidui, I'm just going to go to my main Kang here. Uh, T-Spikes are going to be a problem, but I'm just going to click Ice Punch, get damage off. I don't think... Actually no, I'm going to Wish, sorry. I'm going to throw up a Wish, as he goes through, trying to scout damage. Um, so, very productive turn there. Uh, I'm just going to click Ice Punch. Get damage off from a thing that is a 2 kill, just about, uh, and he definitely has some defense investment, so. Um, he's, he doesn't have lefties though, so, no he does have lefties, never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is not, I'm not going to be able to beat this easily 1v1, but that's all fine and dandy. Uh, I'm going to throw up another Wish, either expecting to switch, or uh, using it as his uh, opportunity to go into something else like my Skarmory there, or you know, just generally switching out. I'm gonna go. Oh, my, he just hope he doesn't go for poison, but maybe he doesn't have it. Of course he does, and he just go for it. That was his best play. That's fine. Uh, that was basically a playoff. If it works, perfect. If it doesn't work, fine. <laughs> so gonna go to Shaman. I can take poison jabs from the thing for days, and he should be scared of an offensive uh, variant. I'm gonna click ECT, expecting him to switch himself. Sila. He goes into the joint set. And this is where I wish I had Toxic, but I don't. So, uh, I'm going to go my Skarm here. And he's going to go Nicely Plot, and that's unfortunate because that's that's a scary thing. So, <laughs> he's going to shut up also. Uh, he is, in fact, the Mono Ghost attacking variant. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, but, you know, the, the whole point of it is to pass into Celesteel, I assume. So, uh, or maybe Magnet Ains, depending. So, you know. Not, not too surprising. So, I'm going to lose up here for free as he goes into Amygdala, his Celestila. Uh, and I'm just going to go into my Shaman because I want to get a Leech Seed off on the thing. Because with Leech Seed off, uh, can Captain GB the 1v1. He goes for his own Leech Seed perfectly fine by me. Uh, and I really, really wish I would have kept Toxic on this thing. Because now uh, I can't beat this situation. But he does stay in. I get off the Leech Seed. He goes for the Assassin and misses. Really unfortunate, but I would have taken it. Um, okay, I think. If I remember the calcs correctly. And, you know. Um... Yeah, this is where I would have probably clicked Toxic uh, if I had it, but I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain. 
uh, do a clean zero to the zero. I get health back, get pretty much back to full uh, before the poison damage. And I'm going to go for HPS, get nothing off. <laughs> and he's going to go to Nasty Plot Up. Uh, and yeah. So, uh, <laughs> basically, all my all my money is now on Ladius. I have to get Ladius, and at the right time, I have to be able to common up with it. Uh, I'm going to my Kangy, hoping that he just goes for the shovel, but of course, he does make the play, play of going into Celesteela. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go for Thunder Punch here, if I remember correctly. I do uh, get some good damage off on the thing. Uh, but which I mean, not much. <laughs> and he's going to go with the plus two slash, and with the T spike seven, just is actually able to knock my Kang out from this range. So my Kang didn't get a kill, you know, who cares? <laughs> and now I can go to my Shaman. And my play at this point is get a lead seed off on the thing, call my up with Ladias on it, and go from there because that is how I win this game. Um, yeah, because he's not going to have flash cannon. I'm pretty sure because he's going to have fire move. He does actually reveal the autotomize, which uh, makes this all a lot worse. <laughs> Uh, but still acceptable, I think. Still, still manageable. And I'm gonna go hard into my uh, Ladius here. No, Skarmory. I'm gonna set my Skarmory off to the thing. Maybe he doesn't have a fire move and I can whirlwind him out. Who knows? Uh, but very unlikely at this point. So uh, I'm gonna have to sack off my. S no, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm actually smarter than I thought I was. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a mess. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna scout for the fire move by going with my Ladius, getting that quote almost free switching because it's not gonna do anything and I get least recovery back. I'm going to be able to call my up on the thing, uh, this does 21%, nothing, and I'm going to be able to get my leftovers, as well as Leech Seed back and get back to essentially full HP, and I'm going to click call mine here as Leech Seed uh, as, as does do a ton, but with leftovers that don't get flinched and the Leech Seed recovery, I'm actually going to be able to take another one pretty uh, pretty well, uh, and actually beat the Celeste the 1v1 now, uh, which is what Lisi was there for from the start. So, um, I'm gonna think Roost up here. Yeah, I do. Get back to Floyd as he brings in Lando. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna uh, U-turn. I don't think he's gonna have the punish punishment this week. Um, and, uh, stuff. So, uh, Hydreigon comes in. That's fine. This is this is fodder for me. I'm just gonna sub up, I think, in case he's like a toxic variant because he does appear to uh, be a bit of an interesting one. Uh, so, you know, just gonna sub up as he goes for the Draco and he's gonna drop his special attack. That is perfectly fine by me. I'm just gonna be able to call it up on the thing. And since I got the Toxic off on this thing, Ladias is actually in a really, really nice position. So, Lando T comes in and I think I'm gonna call mine up again. Yeah. So at this point, um, an offense, fully offensive uninvested Lando T could die from here. However, my speed tiers make that. Very, very unlikely because uh, he can easily just be a very bulky mess and scarf letter T. Um, because that's how bad my speed tiers are. Um, so, I don't have any chance of killing him. If I did have um, like Z moves on the thing, I could just go for the Z store power and knock it out that way. But, you know, uh, he's gonna be able to go for a knockoff that does entirely too much, as I think I'm just gonna roost up. Uh, yeah. And since he's Adam and Scarf with some with some decent bulk investment, this is actually going to be able to uh, just beat my Ladias 1v1 as store power isn't going to do anything. I'm not going to be able to recover enough. Uh, and I'm going to go into my Skarmory, hoping that I can maybe um, roost up on something like the Quillfish. Um, maybe even the Celestia if it doesn't get a boost. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Icy Wind, get damage off, quote unquote. Uh, clean 5.6% on the Celestia. Um and I'm just gonna go for Iron Head because okay. So at this point, <laughs> I forget everything. I forget everything has, has uh, totemized because I think okay, I'm gonna stack off my Scumry here. Even at plus one, my Ladias should be able to roost up on the thing and then call mine again. Um, because Ladias is of course the win con, and the energy is weakened enough, and maybe I can actually still pull this out. Um, but I somehow completely forgot that he has a Totemize, which is really, really stupid on my end. Uh, so I'm just like, I'm going to sack off my Skarmory here, instead of clicking Whirlwind, as I should. Uh, I'm going to put another Iron Head here, do 10%, and he's going to go for your Totemize. So I was like, sacking off Skarmory, hooray. Um, no. Stupid. <laughs> so, uh, he's going to go for Dream Throw, knock me out, and I... Bad place. Attention span of a... I don't know, of what, but, you know. Uh, at this point... I'm just going with my Shaman, I'm going to uh, hope to go for a Leech Seed because I'm pretty sure I can live a hit because Shaman is that fat, I can do that. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't do quite enough for to put me in range of poison damage because if I got a Leech Seed off here and then died to poison, actually I wouldn't have with leftovers. I don't know how much, oh, I don't know exactly what the rolls were but if he actually put me in range for poison damage to kill me despite my leftovers uh, and I got a Leech Seed off, 
Lagias might have been able to uh, bring this back for me. So, uh, because I can at least see back, I can I can roost on this if this thing doesn't have enough speed, because I don't think it will. Um, but, you know, uh, at this point, I'm just gonna uh, get flinched and then die to the flamethrower. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, he's gonna get another beast boost, and Ladius is gonna come in, and that's gonna be the game. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna. Outs no, I don't. I do it. So, yeah, since I do it speed him, that flinch actually might have mattered, because I could have roosted up on him. Um, maybe, with the recovery. Uh, I don't know how much what the roll actually was there, um, so, would have been rolls, and, you know, he kills me, so it doesn't matter in the end. Um, yeah, so I actually still had a chance if I died to poison there, and got the lead seat off, but neither of those things happened, so who really cares in this day and age? Um, and he did have, like, lead seat on Celsius as well to chip down my Ladia, so, um, I don't think I would have won, but I could have certainly, or more than likely, lowered the differential a little bit. So, uh, GG Gypsy, that was a good game, regardless. Uh, I got I got smacked, got 5 out, but Ladias did actually have a good shot, so this isn't, the score doesn't fully reflect the game, I think. I definitely do think Gypsy had, uh, you know, had the upper hand most of the time, but Ladias was definitely a huge threat to his team. Um, and yeah, so, you know, I, I did okay. <laughs> I think the team build was pretty nice, um, for the most part. It's just turn 1, basically screwed me over. Uh, if that didn't happen, I actually think I would have had a really, really good shot. Um, but yeah, he brought Scarf Lando. I didn't expect it. I got fucked for it. Happens. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, GG Gypsy, make sure to check out his channel as well as all the NPL links in the description below. Uh, the YouTube to watch Power Rankings or the like, Twitter to get all your latest news on the NPL, as well as, of course, the fans so where you can support the Bayern Munich or whatever else may be your favorite coach. Um, and that's Permitted follow me on Twitter, I guess. It's another thing that's down there. I never advertise it. I'm close to 1,000 followers, so follow me and love me. <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I have. Um, tell me, as always, what you think of the team that I built and the game. And with that being said, we're 0 2, but next week we go up against Razor Wolf, and it's time to get a win because 0 3 doesn't sound good at all. I don't want to be 0 3. I've never even been 0 2. Like, it's a fucking mess. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's pretty, much it. That's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some nudes. I will appreciate all three of those. Hopefully, see you guys next time. Goodbye.